What's happening, QAC? I'm here at Mason's Farm Produce, which is just one of the many options you have to participate in the hashtag QAC Buy Local Challenge. We've been in the produce business since 1988. My mm -hmm. parents opened the farm market that was not this building that's here today. It was a little produce stand attached to the old dairy barn that used to be on the farm. They just wanted a way to grow a few things to sell to the local residents and whatnot. So they started with corn and tomatoes and it has since grown into the business that you see here today. In 2011, I took the business over from my parents. Mm -hmm. They decided to concentrate on the grain farm that we have. Mm -hmm. That's the bulk of our business. Well, our schedules, we try to be seasonal with what's uh, coming off. Season goes on, the onions start coming in, more peppers, uh, the different types of peppers, mm -hmm. uh, cherry tomatoes, sourcing the beans locally, what we don't grow, uh, the cantaloupes, uh, watermelons start to become local. But we try to have as much as we can, uh, the, the, the main things that people really want, uh, the tomatoes. Our tomatoes are our own and uh, they're usually coming off by the time we open, the middle of June. Yeah, most of the things you see here you can get uh, when we open and we try to have as much of it for as long as we can. When do you guys like kind of like finish up for like the season? Uh, Labor Day weekend okay. has been our uh, traditional uh, end of the season. We've moved down the line here and I also noticed that you have this blackboard which is basically showing me tons more than what is actually offered right out here. We do, we carry beef from Steve from my husband's family farm, we carry pork from their butcher, but everything else is local to the county. We have um, eggs from Cedar Run Farms in Southersville. Um, in Kent County, we have Eve's cheese. And then Cecil County, we have milk and ice cream delivered every Friday. This was something that would, that you added to the mix you I know, did. after you took over? I did, yes. Okay. So just wanted to get into a few more aspects. Having an on-farm market uh, besides growing the produce. And a lot of customers were always asking about other things that we might think about and whatnot. Um, and everything that we've worked out so far has been really great. We've been really happy with um, all the other farms that we work with. And we're actually sitting here right in front of the baked goods section. I've heard that there's a, a little story about the zucchini bread. Yes, the zucchini bread is actually my grandmother's recipe that they use. So we have a Mennonite family that bakes um, every Thursday mm -hmm. and then delivers fresh to us Friday morning. So they del delivered to us this morning here and um, it's gone over really well, uh, especially pies. We sell a lot of pies mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the breads and things and um, it's just kind of a nice addition to have here on the weekends. I, I'm going to say like on, 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 a, on a personal note, the fact that you have pumpkin would be pies right now and it's July. I, I, I love you guys for that. So I also see just for the people who are coming here who are purchasing and they want to go home with a nice little sweet treat of the frozen variety, you guys have snow cones right back here too. That's right, yeah, the snow cone machine has been around uh, since time immemorial. Kate, I believe, started with that when she was younger. I was uh, 13 when okay. um, I wanted a little something to do here at mm -hmm. the farm myself and so that was my idea that I came up with and uh, my parents helped me buy the machine and then I paid them back at the end of that summer after oh, wow. my first snow cone season and um, and it's gone really well. We have customers that stop just for snow cones um, which is wonderful. It's a nice little treat to have. They stop on their way home from work and, uh, and it's great. I, I actually should have asked a question of like not what you guys sell but what you don't sell. It seems like because you guys have you guys have everything. We've yet moved even further down the line to see, and we have cantaloupe, watermelon here, along with some peaches, blueberries, cherries. Um, it, once again, what don't you offer? We have, yep, quite a bit here. So, but of course. Some of the things, the blueberries, the peaches, we don't grow ourselves. We work with Godfrey Farms in Southersville. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents worked with them when I was growing up, um, and I still work with Godfrey's today, which is really wonderful. Um, they're a great family to work with here um, and have great produce. So I've been, I go up there um, when we're open every day or every other day to pick up what I need here for the stand, make mm -hmm. sure it's fresh. Mm -hmm. And um, and Lisa always helps me out. And so right now the cantaloupes are coming from her as well. We have ours in the field, but it'll hopefully be ready next weekend. Oh. Um, so our own produce is coming along and um, as well as watermelons. So it always takes till about the third week in July for the melons to be ready here. Um, mm -hmm. But until then we uh, try to get them locally. You guys need to come here. And if they want to come here, how do they get here? Oh, simple. Off of uh, if you're uh, coming out of Centerville, for example, you can cross 301 down Route 304, about five miles. You go right through the little burg hamlet of Roosburg, and another three quarters of a mile, the farm stands on the left. A special thanks to Mason's Farm Produce for hosting us here today. And if you want more information on how you can buy local and accept the challenge, check out the links below. Now, I'm going to enjoy this pumpkin whoopie pie. Oh my god. Oh yeah.